What's going on? In this video, I'm gonna show you an Amazon rebate chatbot that can live on a landing page. So what this means is that somebody can visit a landing page, they don't have to use Messenger or ManyChat, and they can basically see this chatbot, and they can go through the chatbot putting in their phone number, their email, their Amazon order ID, and then the Amazon order ID is gonna be validated in real time because this chatbot is gonna link up with your Seller Tools account, which connects with with your Amazon Seller Central account. And then basically when they give you their order ID, it's gonna check with your Amazon Seller Central through Seller Tools to then say that is a valid order ID. Now it can also check the ASIN that is on that order ID to see if that is the right ASIN that should be there. So it's making sure that you don't get abused in the whole rebate process. So stick with me. I'm gonna be showing you how I built this bot in LandBot, <laughs> LandBot.io. Now I did get some help in building this bot from a good friend named Pat, but uh, I'm gonna be showing you how this is all put together. It's not gonna like, it, it does require some extracurricular coding on the back end, which is a little bit tricky and convoluted, so I can't really go in too much detail with that, but overall I'm gonna show you how this works out, and if you wanna get something built like this for your Amazon business, then feel free to book a free consulting call with me by going to evolvemedia.agency. So let's go ahead and jump into this whole chatbot tour, starting with introducing you to me. Let let me tell you who I am. My name is Ian Smith and I run an Amazon marketing agency called Evolve Media. We work with a lot of Amazon sellers and we help them with building chatbots like this, running Facebook ads, Google ads, email marketing, doing direct mail campaigns, getting Amazon customer data out of their Amazon account so that we can mail them stuff. Overall, we help Amazon sellers rank higher, get more reviews, and overall scale their Amazon business. So if that's something that you're wanting to do, then again, book a free consulting call with me by going to evolvemedia.com agency. All right, so now I'm going to share my screen and show you what this whole thing looks like and let me kind of go through it with you step by step. Okay, so now you can see my screen and as you can see, we are in the landbot.io platform. Now, it all starts with this first welcome message. It's going to say, hey there, thanks for your interest in our rebate program. You interested in a free gift? Just sign up, order our product on Amazon, then we'll send you a $20 gift card of your choice after we verify your Amazon order ID number. To get started, click the button below. And they're going to see this button right here that says, let's go. When basically when they click on that, it's going to send them this message right here. Now we always want to collect email addresses first because if they bail or if something goes wrong, we want to be able to contact them to follow up. So first question is, what's your email address? So we collect their email address right here. Now it's going to save the answers to a variable at email form field right there. Then the next question is going to be, what is your phone number? So it's gonna say, you know, give us your cell phone number. We do say cell phone number so that we can put them into some text message marketing. Um, so after we get their cell phone number, then as you can see right here, this web hook is going to actually uh, trigger a Zapier. So this information is going to be sent over to a Google Sheet where we can then have a, you know, a form that says name and email, I'm sorry, phone number and email, then if they bail after this, we still have their phone number and email locked in. Now later, we're gonna collect their shipping address and order ID and name and all that kind of stuff. So if, if they get to that step, then it's going to, we have another Zapier check that's gonna send that information to the same Google Sheet to look up that actual row and then update that row with more information. So we just wanna make sure at this step that the Zapier is being triggered and that information is getting over to a Google Sheet so that we make sure that we have that information safe and being able to be used later on. So right now we have a little bit of um, code going on right there. I won't get too much in the code, but basically a web hook is triggering Zapier. Then after that, they're gonna see this message right here that says, fantastic, now just click the button below to go purchase on Amazon, then come back to this page after you purchase to give us your Amazon order ID number. Now this button right here is gonna be, you know, your special button that's gonna have your keywords and your, um, 
we just have it linking to amazon.com, but you wanna make your special, you know, maybe you have a two-step URL or a canonical URL or something that's gonna give you some keyword ranking juice, stuff like that. So people are gonna click on that, they're gonna go over to Amazon, hopefully they leave this page open. If they leave and close this landing page, then they're gonna to have to start all over, but then they're gonna come back to this page after they've purchased on Amazon, and we're gonna hit them with this message right here saying, after you've ordered on, on Amazon and you're ready to submit your order ID for verification, then just type it below. Now I have a little test order ID in there that I usually am running through, but basically a message ends right there and it's gonna say, this is gonna be the format of your order ID, so make it look like this. Now that's gonna fill in the input field right here, G product order ID right there. Then it's gonna send them this message after they fill that out and it's gonna say, great, hold on a second while I check that. So now what's gonna happen is another webhook and it's going to be sending this information over to Seller Tools through the Seller Tools API. Now Seller Tools is gonna to be linked up with your Amazon Seller Central account, so Seller Tools is then gonna send that information over to Amazon, check and see if that's a valid order ID. If it is, it's going to also look at the ASIN that's on that order, make sure that that is a good ASIN that we're wanting to check it with. Now we do have some coding going on in the back end to make sure that these two platforms or three platforms really communicate well with each other. Then after that information is pulled out of Seller Tools, we have a conditional reply, a conditional um, step here where it's like if order status is equal to pending or if order status is equal to shipped, then proceed, see it's got the little green light, proceed to, sorry, that's actually the wrong step, right here, I'm gonna move it over. Condition, green light, then proceed to this message that says found it, thanks. Now, if the order status is unshipped, then see this red line? It is going to say, oh no, it looks like we couldn't verify your order. Would you mind sending us your order ID again? It's gonna be in this format. So we let them go round and round trying it and uh, they can pretty much try that unlimited amount of times to try and get their order ID accurate. So that's kind of a loop right there, but again, if they put in the right order ID, then they're going to a conditional replies, a conditional response is going to check and see if the I should say conditional step <laughs> is going to check and see if we were able to pull out the user address from that order ID lookup. If we have the ability to pull in their address, then it's going to skip this step. See this green line right here? It's gonna skip this step and come down to here saying, okay, it looks like I've got your address. Can you confirm this is it? Name, address, all that kind of stuff. If we're not able to pull in that information, then we're just gonna have them fill out the information. So the red little line right here is gonna send them this multi-question form here saying, okay, we found your order ID, now let's get your shipping info for where we should send your $20 gift card to. Now we're gonna get their mailing address in this actual flow right here, but if you wanna just email them the gift card, then you can do that as well, and you can skip this entire form field section of getting their mailing address. We actually originally built this bot to fulfill another product, so it was like a buy one, get one free type of rebate. So we were collecting their shipping address so that they would get another product for free. So that was really the original point of this, and that's why we have this form field, but I decided to leave it in to really show you how flexible you can be with this overall uh, flow. All right, so after we collect their shipping address, then we're going to set a user field, you know, set their first name and last name, pretty basic stuff, and then they get sent this confirmational message right here that says, okay, looks like I've got your address and your name, can you please confirm that this is it? They're gonna click yes, that's it, or no, update it, and then they can, you know, refill out the field and make it right, see how the line uh, navigates up to this uh, form field little step right there. Anyway, if they click on yes, that's it, then the line is going to take them up to a webhook right here. Now this is where the second Zapier trigger happens where now that we have their name and shipping address and order ID and all that kind of stuff, now this is going to be sent to the Google Sheet and this is also when the email is going to be triggered and pushed over, you know, this is set up in Zapier, but the email is now gonna be pushed over to Klaviyo or whatever 
email platform you choose, we're choosing Plavio in this case, but the email gets sent over to Clavio, it's added to a list, which is then added to a flow, which is then sent their confirmation email saying, great, you're all good, your order has been processed, and we'll get you out your product or your gift card here soon. But in the actual flow, they're gonna receive this little GIF right there, then it's gonna say, we're so glad you signed up for our rebate program, we'll let you know, uh, we'll get you your $20 gift card sent out within the next three business days, and then down here it says, you should receive a confirmation email in just a few minutes, and if you don't, be sure to check your spam folder, add us to your safe sender list to receive freebies and news and all that kind of stuff. So that is pretty much the entire rebate flow right there. Now, the really cool things that I personally like about this flow the most is the, the two Zapier pulls and then sends where in the beginning, once we get their phone number and email, boom, it sends it to the over to the Google Sheet so we for sure have that locked in. And then the other one that is gonna update the Google Sheet row once we get the rest of the information from them. And then we have the web hook that is linking up this whole land bot with seller tools and Amazon Seller Central to automate the whole order verification process. That really saves a lot of time and man hours in doing all that manually, but now still the manual part is actually fulfilling it. Now, if you are sending a free product, well then that's pretty much automated right here by collecting their shipping address. If you're sending a gift card that's emailed to them, well then you do need to manually send them the gift card. And I personally like leaving payment things manual. It's not that hard. Basically what you would do is you would come in on your Google Sheet and you see a, you know, a row that says their name, their shipping address, or their email and stuff like that, their order ID. So you would then copy paste their email, go into your seller tools platform, and if you wanna use the wallet in seller tools, then you would basically just manually send X amount of dollars and a gift card to that email address, and then they'll get an email address saying, you know, here's your gift card, or you can use another type of gift card platform. If you don't wanna use the seller tools wallet, there are other gift card platforms out there that you can work with to actually rebate and process that actual payment to those people. But that is pretty much how the bot looks on the back end. Now let me quickly show you what this looks like on the front end. And actually real quick, I'll show you the other cool things about this land bot and how it lives on a landing page. So you can design the actual font and the font size, like here, you can check out the, you can change the different font, the font size, the colors, the background type, if you want it to be white, black, gradients, all that kind of stuff. You can change your chat icons, if that's important to you, you can have it, have all different kinds of chat icons. But anyway, this is where I wanted to actually show you the, the bot. So as you can see here, it says, hey there, thanks for your interest in our rebate program, interested in a free gift. Now, I actually don't have it set up to be live right now, so it's not gonna let me go all the way through it because I disconnected it from the Seller Tools account that we were actually using it with, but let me just type in the email address and we'll just hit at gmail.com. And what's the best phone number? Just type in any old number, and then it's gonna say click now to go buy on Amazon. So then they're just gonna click and it's gonna link them over to Amazon just like that. And then it's gonna say, after you've ordered on Amazon, now give us your order ID. So I'm gonna put this order ID in, but I'm telling you right now, it's not gonna actually work because I disconnected it. So it's probably gonna say, oh, we couldn't find that order ID. Yep, because I disconnected it from Seller Tools. But anyway, there's a quick little glimpse as to what it actually looks like. Now, the cool thing about landing bo LandBot is that you can embed it on a landing page. So you can have your branding of your landing page all around it, maybe pictures of the product, um, that way they can find it easier on Amazon if you do a search find buy kind of thing. I do recommend going this route so you can have it on your own branded custom domain. You can put uh, Google or Facebook conversion tracking codes on that actual landing page, as well as putting conversion tracking codes in this actual bot, where it'll fire a pixel at certain steps in the bot. So there's definitely a lot of really cool things that you can do with LandBot. Again, if you wanna reach out to me if you have more questions or if you wanna get one of these Amazon rebate chatbots set up for your Amazon business, then reach out to me, book a free consulting call by going to evolvemedia.agency. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it was helpful in showing you what's possible these days. I'm super excited for this technology and I'm super excited to start using this for different client accounts. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.